Whether you're in Las Vegas or international, welcome to Unity One, the best private security patrol service company. Hey guys, this is Agent Parsons. Uh, just headed to one of our properties right now. Um, just made a, just gonna make a quick drive through to make sure everything's safe, everything's quiet, everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, and uh, just keeping the family safe. We just arrived at one of our properties here, uh, just rolling through, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, checking to see if there's any kids out. Uh, it's still before curfew, so it's not too much of a big deal, but just uh, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. So as I'm looking, I'm making sure people aren't uh, in the parking lot drinking, out with beer bottles. When we pass by the pools, make sure that they don't have any liquor, any any glass, uh, anything that, that can hurt themselves or, or our kids surrounding. Other things that I'm looking for as I'm looking around are lights out, dark corners where people can hide, uh, graffiti, just dark places that people can hang out and, and really hang out and do nothing, you know, when they're up to no good. On one of our properties, we had an event with uh, a resident that came in, let us know that a uh, two males were walking around the property very agitated, um, griping about another resident, saying that they were going to go, they were going to go get them, and those were the words that were used. And uh, we found the two males, and as we approached them, one of them was carrying a gun, and it was hidden underneath his belt. So. Uh, we didn't know it until we approached him and until we were on top of him and uh, we kindly asked the gentleman to come over and he did and my partner immediately hooked him up and uh, called Metro down and made sure that all, his, all of his tags were valid and everything. He wasn't a resident on the property so we uh, removed him and trespassed him so uh, the residents were able to sleep safe that night. For, uh, for kids playing, hanging out in the construction zones. They like to play in the, in the wood and hide in the buildings that aren't done yet. What I just did is I logged that I was on property and that I was in patrol. Um, what we do for our properties is we, uh, we list all the stuff that goes on while we're on property, lights out, uh, incidences that happen. We'll log all U-Hauls that are on property at that time. Uh, in case anything comes up missing or funny happens, um, they know what we were looking at and what we saw. Uh, if people carry TVs out to their cars or just something looks different, we'll definitely log it. That way, if somebody comes up with a missing TV that day, they can pull up our logs and see that so-and-so was carrying a TV out to so which uh, this car with this license plate. All right, so we're getting ready to get out to do our foot patrol. Uh, just gonna walk around, check the doors, make sure everything's locked up properly, uh, make sure no one's in the pool. Um, just things like that, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, keeping everybody safe. So actually, these doors are unsecure, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, log that, make sure that the management knows, and uh, that way they can fix it in the morning. Coming over, closing everything up, making everything as secure as possible. That way uh, no one goes in and injures, them, injures themselves, steps on any nails or anything, trips over any lumber or anything. A lot of our residents have commented that they feel much safer, that they have a uh, walking patrol and driving patrol on their property. Also that we have a 24-hour dispatch that they can call and reach out to us at any time that they want to. Um, our regular response time is anywhere between 5 and 15 minutes and uh, they say they seem to love that. After about three months of us being on property, we can lower cr the crime and, and the, uh, the issues that they, people have on property by about 30% or so. The amount of crime that we've seen on some of our properties is, uh, it, it drops tremendously. Uh, so we're pretty much done here. There's not, there's not too much going on on Mondays. Mondays are pretty quiet. Uh, cute people hanging out at the pool, no big deal. Uh, everybody's behaving themselves. All right, guys, we just got to property number two. Just 
gonna do a quick roll through, make sure everything's quiet and uh, everything's safe and everybody's being safe. Another thing we're checking as we're rolling through here is uh, door jams, door handles, making sure they're, they're not splintered or, or knocked out, making sure there's no forced entry on any of the units as well. All the lights we have on the cars uh, are all tools. We all use them for uh, different things. Sometimes we're on property, we don't use them for a reason. Um, switching up our tactics uh, makes the people that aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing um, think twice. When they see, when they don't see the car on property because we're parked off property, but we're still on property, um, kind of freaks them out a little bit. And, uh, they no longer want to do whatever they were doing here. They're going to take it elsewhere. At night we have to be careful when we're sh shining our lights around to make sure that we're not shining them in people's windows and uh, disturbing them while they sleep or while they're resting. Um, one thing that we teach our, our uh, training officers. So we just finished property two on our way to property three. Uh, one of the reasons why I like what I do is uh, think about it like a game um, you're just out there trying to get people to do the right thing without actually having to tell them to, to do it uh, like I said it's a game you, you you play with them and you're not actually out there to make anybody upset or make them mad you're just out there to do the right thing and sometimes you make people mad and um, as long as they're still doing the right thing at, in the end and making the right choices that's what the, that's what we're there that's what we're there to do is to get people to make the right choices on their own and uh, that's that's the goal so one of the reasons why our properties love us so much is we're not the yellow shirts that just sit around on property on park benches uh, talking on our phones and texting we're actually out there engaging people and um, uh, we're actually hands-on and we're going to take care of situations and problems that people have, whether they be domestic, uh, noise violations, or, or parking issues. Um, no matter what the problem is, we're going to answer to our, to our residents because we care. I believe that our presence alone makes people think twice. That's, that's part of our, our saying, uh, deterrence through presence. And uh, just our, our presence and our demeanor and how we hold and conduct ourselves um, makes people think twice on whether to even uh, get mouthy with us. So most of the time, our, our number one tool is verbal judo. Um, if you can talk somebody out of doing something, uh, that's a great day. Uh, so now we're on property three, just uh, rolling through, making sure everybody's quiet, everything's good, and no problems, no issues, and making sure everybody's safe. Another thing we do when we're on property is we'll just sometimes we sit at the front of the property just so that uh, the residents know that we're here, and uh, some of them don't really feel safe unless they see us. Um, what they don't understand is that when we're not seen is, is, is vital to their safety as well. But uh, just by us sitting up here deter, deters any anybody from coming on property and handling whatever they're going to handle. Hey guys, we're checking into stop four here. Um, again, just rolling through, making sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, making sure all dogs are on leashes so they don't attack any other dogs or... or uh, anything like that. Some some residents don't think that uh, they have a vicious dog, but somebody else might. And, uh, we're just trying to avoid people and uh, dogs getting bit. As it gets later in the night, one of the things we look forward, or one of the things we look forward to are uh, people looking in windows, uh, peeping toms. Um, we look for doors that are unsecure, that look like they've been kicked in or windows that have been pried open, uh, just things like that just to help uh, keep our community safe and our residents safe. As we go on our routes uh, and meet with some of the residents, uh, because we're so personable and because we enjoy talking to them as much as they enjoy talking to us, they, uh, they love to inform us on what's going on in the property and uh, things that we can work on together um, as uh, creating a safe community is not only just securities, it's actually the residents' job as well because uh, without the residents reporting what's going on, um, we can't be as effective as we would like to be. So we just finished up Route 4. 
Uh, everything's been cool, calm, quiet. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody's safe. Nothing crazy happening. Um, the best day is when you can go home safe and uh, you don't have to do anything except for have a couple little conversations and talk people into doing the right thing without actually having to tell them to do it. You guys just saw the behind the scenes with Unity One. It is awesome to see how detail oriented and how meticulous they are when it comes to serving the different complexes that they're protecting and the residences, making sure everyone feels 100% safe and secure. If you live anywhere and you don't feel 100% safe, it's time to get your management to check out Uni One. The job they do is absolutely awesome. I was absolutely blown away by what they do. If this is the first time you're seeing any of our episodes, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment in the description box below. If you want to know anything Unity One, you can find all their information in the description box. You can find them on Facebook and on Twitter. And until that next episode, we'll talk to everybody soon. What you gonna do when they come?